Ladders and gentlemen, welcome! Not long ago, I realized that I had still 14 days of leave until the end of the year. So I decided to use them in order to relax a bit from work and finally get some very well deserved rest. The spot that I decided to pick for my vacation was no Barcelona, was no Ibiza, was no Kingston upon Hull, where I've done my Erasmus by the way. Instead, my holiday destination was a mass of Soviet concrete in the shape of a old hotel resort that had been abandoned for decades. I had found this place through my Instagram recommendations. In order to get to this abandoned hotel built by the Russians in the 1950s, I had to go to the small Georgian town of Ureki, on the shore of the Black Sea. Ureki was once very popular in USSR times for its magnetic sands, attracting visitors from lands as far out as Moscow, St. Petersburg and Magadan. The international airport that was closest to Ureki was in Batumi, an hour south of the abandoned hotel on the border with Turkey. What's up? I've just made it here to Batumi and I swear to God, this must be the weirdest place ever. Look at what you've got here. You've got super modern skyscrapers which are currently being built with investments from Saudi Arabia and right next to it, you've got ugly panielniki dating back to I don't know what kind of Soviet era. And over there, again, you've got even more Saudi skyscrapers. Oh my God, what a place. But today, I'm not as interested in the weird architecture of Batumi as I am in this abandoned leisure complex on the Black Sea some 50 kilometers north of Batumi so I think we should go to the place where we can get the bus from Batumi to Rieki and I think I was reading on the internet that I'm supposed to go to the railway station of Batumi which is in the northern area of town so let's just find a way to get there Oh, this is just gonna be an amazing shot for my Instagram, man! I swear this must be the weirdest town or city or place or whatever I've ever been at and... Oh my god, what is this? There's a freaking upside down building! It says white restaurant. This is a restaurant that is like upside down. Hashtag Batumi, weirdest place in the world. <laughs> Okay, so instead of taking a taxi or a bus as usual, I decided to take advantage of the modernity of Batumi and take one of these electric mopeds as you can see here. The problem that I've got is that obviously I still need to hold the camera on one hand and I'm pushing the throttle with my right hand, but obviously the brake is on the left hand side and I'm obviously holding my camera with my left hand, so I have no way of braking. <laughs> oh my god, this is super dangerous. All right, so I've parked the moped here and now let's just try and cross the road without getting killed which is quite the feat if you ask me here in Georgia and basically this is where all the buses and marshrutkas stop right next to the railway station of Batumi I'm not quite sure where the railway station building is but anyway I don't care because all I care about is finding a bus one of these all the way to Ureki now, the thing is, I'm not quite sure what language I'm supposed to speak. Am I supposed to try uh, Kamarjoba? Ureki? Okay, okay, Madoba. Okay, so I was just asking the first guy that I met, he was saying this way, Ureki? How do I go to Ureki? Uh huh, na pista na Ureki? Okay, Madloba, Madloba. So it looks like a mixture of English and Russian can do the trick. The guy said, Pidisiat Piat. I think, which is 55. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I just found this Soviet stele right here, right outside the bus station of Batumi. And there's this guy who's climbing the thing to take a picture. <laughs> this is how I should do it. What's up? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Oh, cool. I'm going to Ureki. Have you ever been to Ureki? No, I haven't. I'm going to. You're going to Ureki yeah, now? Bro, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you Georgian? No, I'm Russian. Я говорю по-русски. А, я тоже. Хорошо. А знай, может, мне надо, я хочу Ureki, но мне надо как автобус найти. Хорошо, пойдём посмотрим. Ты знаешь, куда? А, хорошо. Три места есть? Да, да. Автобус Ureki. Similari, yeah. Similari, okay, yeah, okay. So that was very random. I just met this guy. What's your name again? My name is Paul. Paul? 
Yeah. That's not a Russian name though, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's originally Pavel. Pavel, Pavel. Okay, so you're Pavel. Okay, Pavel. so I met this guy, Pavel, who apparently has just helped me out with finding a bus to Urieki. So yeah, looks like I'm going to have some company for this trip. A ty tože prijedeš? Ah, we we v mieście. Ah, so there are going to be three of us apparently. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Ah, we are going to go to the beach? Yes, we are going to go to the beach. Yes, we are going to go to the beach. Yes, we are going to go to the beach. Yes, we are going to go to the beach. Yes, we are going to go to the beach. Yes, we are going to go to the beach. Yes, we are going to go to the beach. Yes, we Наверно, okay. Не на пляже. Okay. Будем искать, искать. That's funny. I thought I was going to be the only weirdo who would ever travel to a place like this, but apparently, I'm not. By the way, I'm not super sure it's a sanatorium that we're talking about. I think it, as far as I could read on Instagram, I think it's some sort of abandoned leisure complex, whatever that means. It might be a sanatorium though. It's Go definitely гостевой дом. That's what it is. Гостев... Like like гостев... a guest house. Гостевой дом means like a for vacation, people come for vacation for All short right. term, but at the same time they have doctors there. So that means that uh, they can have, what is it called, like therapy, medical procedures, they can drink mineral water, they can go for massage, they can... Wow, go to can the I tell you something, dude? Yeah. You sure know your shit. <laughs> Why do you speak with an American accent though? Because I'm the, from, uh, I live in the States, in LA. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> so you're Russian, yeah. but you live in Los Angeles yeah, and I've yeah, just yeah. met you here in Batumi. What's yeah. up with that? As I always say, cool people are always at the back of the marshrutka. <laughs> and I'm standing on this thing right here. What is this? Bottles of gas and we're all gonna blow up? No, I think it's just luggage. Oh, I've never seen this one. But yeah, we've got a 60 minute ride all the way to Ureki. Let's just make sure that we enjoy this one with the amazing view over the Black Sea. Three. Madloba. Thank you. Spasiba. Madloba. And welcome to Ureki! So we have made it to the sea resort town of Urieki, which let me tell you, it's pretty touristic as you can see. Loads of cars, loads of shops selling stuff for the beach. Wow, look at this! I feel like I'm back at home! I feel like I'm back in Italy, but I'm not! And obviously the beach is right over there, but I'm not interested in the beach, I'm not interested in what all these people are interested in. All I wanna see is this freaking abandoned leisure complex. What's that dude? Is that beer or...? Or something beer. else. A little bit of beer. <laughs> so while Pavel has just got a little bit of beer, what I would suggest is that we get ourselves something to eat yes. and just because we have no idea where to go actually in order to find this place, let's just go and ask somebody. What okay. do you reckon? Alright, cool. Vampire idiot? So I just ordered a hachipuri for myself and then obviously after eating the plan will be to go to this place. So I think I was reading on the internet, correct me if I'm wrong, but this place is in a village just outside of Ureki, which is called Magnetiti. So we just need to find a way how to get there. I think that sounds incorrect. <laughs> incorrect? <laughs> Why yeah, is that? Bro, because it's Magneti is the name of the beach, of the okay. beach town, of the beach resort. That is in the town of Ureki. Okay. So this is Magneti Beach. Okay, okay. So that's good news because that means that we don't need to go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And I was reading on the internet that apparently this beach is called Magneti because they've got magnetic sun. Magnetic sun that came from the volcano. From a volcano? Yeah, it's vo volcanic rock. And stuff. Oh my God, I'm excited now. <laughs> this is the only black sand beach in Georgia. Oh my god, and yeah. it's magnetic, like I'm... Um, okay, you know what, before my Hachipuri arrives, I'm just gonna go to the beach real quick and I'm gonna try out if it's actually magnetic. Okay? okay? You guys wait for me here, eh? Huh? Oh my god, it really is windy and there are so many people by the beach, how do they do that? <laughs> by the way, our restaurant is just there, right by the beach. So I wanna go and try and see if this beach, if this sand is actually magnetic. No, it's not magnetic, that was bullshit! <laughs> and here I am doing my walk of shame. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. 
Нет, Черт? а, черный, да, но магнетизма нету. Я попробовал с этим, но не знаю, как попробовать, если пляж магнетик или, не, или нет. I think the root of the word magnetic is magnesium. It has to do with volcanic rock, so in, then that means it has to do with some Oh, element, I see. So the reason why they element. say that this beach and this sand is magnetic, that's because it contains magnesium. That's what I assume, yes. Oh, because... Большой хачапури, да? Да. Мадлова, мадлова. О, вау! Всегда не ладно. Alright, boys, situation is as follows. So we've just had lunch at this place right here. And correct me if I'm wrong, Pavel, but you just went there, went inside to ask for directions to this place. Is that right? So I went inside, I asked the lady who works at the restaurant. She looks like a lovely old lady. And of course, she should be familiar with this place because this used to operate even after Soviet Union. How far is it? One kilometer. Okay, we can go there on foot. Is that correct? I don't know, maybe if you're an Italian lazy guy, we can call an Uber. <laughs> I'm Italian, but I'm not lazy. <laughs> can you imagine what I would have done here today without you? I would have been completely lost. I mean, I figured I would have just been walking around asking people when I can find this random Zabroshka. Buongiorno. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll follow you then. Mm -hmm. I I'll follow, I'll follow you. <laughs> So apparently the place that we're looking to go is hidden behind this fence and I mean there's a hole here but I'm not quite sure whether let's go inside real quick come on guys let's go ladies and gentlemen we have made it to the abandoned leisure complex of Urieki, I don't know what you guys were expecting, but this is basically just a random hotel that has now been left here completely abandoned for I don't know how many years and yeah, this is it. <laughs> While doing my research before coming to this place, I was reading that usually hotels of this kind in these places are positioned parallel to the coast and as a result, half of the rooms do not have any view over the sea. But a cool thing about this place is that obviously, apart from being perpendicular to the, to the coast, to the sea, the balconies are also positioned at some sort of angle, as you guys can see here. And that means that you would be able to have a view over the sea from every single room of this leisure complex. Isn't that great? Oh, and there's also some kind of mosaic right in front of the abandoned leisure complex, which is basically a hotel. I imagine that this had to be some sort of fountain, right? Because you've got a fish there, and another fish here, and a couple of fish there, and another fish there, and a fish here, and another fish there. Okay, let's try and see if we can break inside. Well, obviously, there's not much to break anyway, apart from my limbs, probably. So you read about this place. When yes. did this place shut down? It opened in 1970s and then in 2004 it got closed down. I don't know for oh, what reason. Oh, only 18 that... years ago? Okay, so I can see this desk here and I imagine that this used to be the reception. So as Pavel was saying, when this place first opened in the 1970s, people would come here through the main entrance, which I imagine was either that one or this one somehow. And then they will be greeted here from the reception staff of the leisure complex here in Urieki. Oh, what's up with this roof over here? So this room was the summer cafeteria. Because, Seriously, this Talovaya? Yeah, <laughs> because they didn't have windows here. This was outside cafeteria. Oh, oh, I that's, get it. That's why it's called oh. the summer cafeteria. But also this was like recreational space that would have some oh. games. Maybe here weddings even? Okay, so while Christina is taking some artistic pictures, again, can you imagine? So people, every morning, when they wanted to have breakfast between 7 and 10 a.m., they would come down here, especially in summer, and they would have their sort of breakfast in this place right here. Wow. So we are now going to try and climb to the second floor of this abandoned hotel. So let me give you a tour of a typical room in this abandoned hotel near Ureke. My room is number 
325. So you guys can see this nice yellow carpet that I've got in my room. Right on the right, right as we enter, you can see the toilet. There's a sink and a toilet over here. And this, this is the room. Look, there's a big ass window from which I can see and I can have an amazing view. I've got a socket right here, right next to where the bed used to be. I've got a couple of empty bottles and I'm sure that if I were to go all the way to the balcony there, I will be able to have a nice view over the Black Sea, unironically. We're now approaching the very last floors of this abandoned complex. Oh my god, I need these, to these get better in shape. What are these? Marble stairs that lead you to the summer. Oh. Ter summer terrace. Are we on the roof already? Now that's cool, right? This is a cool view over the beach and over the Black Sea over there. There's also a nice pond, a nice small lake that has formed over the course of the past 18 years since this hotel was last in use. But yeah, guys, I think this is the first time for me actually being able to climb a Zibroshka of this kind doing urbex in this way in Georgia. Man, let me take actually a minute to congratulate myself. Well done. <laughs> I mean, I actually suffer from heights and vertigo, so this is definitely no small feat. Well, this was a fun adventure, <laughs> not as exciting maybe as some other adventures that I've had in the past, but still, it was quite fun. So I guess there's not really much else that I can show you guys here in Urieki because apart from this thing, there's nothing else. I mean, there's the beach, but you guys know that I'm not interested in beaches. So I guess I'll just tell you goodbye and I'll see you sometime else, somewhere else. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Cheers! Thank you. Bye.